everyone, it's me Jen from M Just Like You and finally today I have another tutorial for you guys and it is the look I'm wearing right now. I actually really like it because you know I love a great smoky eye because it gives you that sexy look but a little bit of pop of color give you that little bit more of a flirty look and especially if you like to wear a lot of neutral clothing and maybe you're going out and you're wearing that little black dress that you can always count on um, adding a little bit of color into your eye makeup is really going to make it pop as well as it's the same concept of wearing a pop of color in your um, accessories so why not accessorize your eyes so I hope you guys enjoy this look and if you're interested please stay tuned first thing I'm going to do is put on foundation. This is Perfection Lumiere by Chanel. I absolutely love this. It gives you a matte finish yet still can give your skin a little bit of a dewy look. And what I'm going to use is just um, Sigma's Round Top Kabuki and I'm just going to pump it right on it. This will actually prevent wasting um, foundation. So I'm just going to pat it gently onto the skin. And this foundation smells amazing. It smells just like my moisturizer from Chanel and it smells like peaches and roses. If you're sensitive to smell, you, better, you probably don't like it, but it's actually really pleasant. So, love it. This foundation really gives you a natural look because it just looks like skin kind of like you're erasing all your imperfections the new instant age rewind concealer it's actually different from the original one which is the double ended one I really like this one but it's discontinued so this one has to do and it works pretty well I mean the sponge actually does give you a little bit of an easier application so you just kind of click like that and then just bounce it underneath the eye I love using loose powder because it actually gives you a more flawless look and natural. This is only going to help the color be more vibrant. Just like that. Concealer brush and going to blend it. going to be easy to compact some colors on. Um, this is the eye shading brush and I'm going to go in with this color right here. Deep End by Urban Decay and then just patting it on top. And make sure you're patting it and not brushing it because it might have some fallout. Okay, and then using a blending brush, um, this one is by Sigma, same thing as the MAC 217. And I'm going to go in with a matte brown, and I'm using also Urban Decay's Naked Palette in Naked. And I'm going to just go completely diagonal into the lashes.
Using a fluffy blending brush, I'm going in with that same naked color and I'm blending the edges. This is going to make it look less harsh. Going in with that same base eyeliner that I used earlier, I'm going to color in half of the bottom lashes and this is going to help tie in the colors. And then going over with evidence over the base. Now using Vanilla, also from the 15th Anniversary Palette, I'm going to highlight the inner corner as well as the other half of the bottom lashes. Going in with a pencil liner, I'm using a black 24-7 Urban Decay pencil in zero. And I'm also tight lining the top lashes. And then I'm going to go in with a smudge brush or a pencil brush to smudge around the eyeliner. Now I'm preparing for my lashes. This is Tapered Brush by Sigma and it's really great for contouring and so I'm going to use my e.l.f. bronzer and blush duo. Absolutely love this. I'm just tapping it on the tip of the brush. And then just using it as a blush, the bronzer. my lips, I'm going to go in with um, number 7's Nude Lip Liner. This is available at Target. Absolutely love this. And I'm just going to color in where I have pigmentation. This will help kind of camouflage it but not give you that pasty look. So I'm going in with NARS Giza. Love this color. And the look is completely done. I hope you guys like it. I love that pop of color even though it's a smoky look. And yeah, I hope you guys try it out and I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!